flattening the curve. Explained. So I recorded this a long time ago before all the racism was racism -ing. Um And, uh, but guess what? Corona is still out here coronaing and COVIDing. Um, so here we are. First of all, what curve? Well, the normal curve or a bell curve. They're the same thing. Um, but we see these a lot in statistics. Uh, okay, so when data is normally distributed, uh, it typically creates uh, the shape that is evenly distributed and symmetrical. Okay? Um, that sometimes data might not be perfectly even, um, but for the most part it will be. And um, normal distributions have the same mean, median, and mode. Uh, so that's just a fun fact. So virologists expect that the coronavirus cases will rise and reach their peak just as fast as they will fall. This prediction would display normally. Typically, okay, take that loosely. So the start of the curve represents when we first discovered cases in America, and then the end of the curve is when the virus has made its way through the population, okay? Uh, this is time, and then that would be the number of cases, right? Time on your x-axis, number of cases on your y-axis. Data is not always displayed normally though, okay? Sometimes you have data that's skewed to the left, sometimes you have data that's skewed to the right, okay? But uh, we love to see when data is normally distributed uh, because it helps us make predictions and draw conclusions pertaining to the data. Uh, so I digress. Let's go back to the coronavirus, right? So since virologists predict that the data will rise and fall at the same rate um, in the number of cases, we know when we will hit our peak of coronavirus when our number of cases is smaller this week than they were last week, okay? Um, and that will give us an estimate of how much longer and when all of this will find. I'm sick of wearing a mask. <laughs> okay, so let's say you have two curves, right? Choose your curve. The same amount of people get the virus um, whether you choose pink or purple. So which one are you gonna choose? Are you gonna go pink or are you gonna go purple? You might be inclined to choose the purple because it's gonna go through the population quicker, right? Um, but there is missing information on this graph. What's missing is our hospital capacity, right? Um, so you might wanna choose that little purple, but you're like, because it's gonna go through quicker and we can stop wearing these masks. But what's, what's gonna happen if we choose the purple is that the hospital capacity will reach its limit and that's really how people start to pass away, right? Because the hospitals cannot treat them and recover them fast enough. But the pink one is gonna take longer, but because it's gonna take longer, it's also not gonna hit that, that hospital capacity limit. And so because it won't hit that hospital capacity limit, um, then it works its way through the population and not as many people end up passing away. So the purple uh, curve is not social distancing. The pink curve is social distancing. This is why we teach statistics and data displays in math class. Because when you're reading articles and you're reading um, news, you have to be able to analyze your own data because the person presenting it to you might be presenting it to you with their bias. Therefore, trying to trick you, okay? Don't get got. 
So you need to be able to analyze data and draw your own conclusion conclusions to when something is given to you. So when are we ever gonna use this? Right now, we're using it right now. <laughs> Um, so I hope you understand what people mean when they say flattening the curve because hopefully you get it because I explained it.